I watched this movie Spedders the other day. This Paul Verhoeven movie from mm-hmm. before he came to America, and uh, a character gets gang raped. Nice. How about Paul N. Verhoeven? Okay. Yep. Let's go. I think I could see. Some- okay. Yeah, it's my idea of us. Uh, there's a policeman who is shot, and uh, they. Uh, but he is a white man. And he's mm-hmm. shot through uh-huh. about, but it is uh, some kind of a crazy future. Right? <laughs> they have uh, medicine and machines, and they b- build him. They, you know, it's Detroit, so they rebuild him with parts uh-huh. of uh, just leftover blacks. Yeah. And well, I think maybe we, what if he's a machine instead of well, yeah? What if he fights crime? They use black people parts to make him. Well, they uh. could, what about mach- what about electronics? Uh, no. And no? so, <laughs> okay. part machine, part black guy, part man. So, okay. okay. So just all use, part man, part machine. He's, yeah, he's part. a black, they turn the policeman into a black man whose head is a boombox. <laughs> <laughs> he's a ghetto blaster. And he, but yeah, he gets back at the criminals by calling them the hammer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Okay. I think you got a lot of good elements here, Paul. Mm-hmm. I don't know N-word how you Hoven. can, can fight crime. <laughs> Mr. Edward Hoven, I like the part the part where he's a robot and a and a man. The name of the movie is called Showgirls. <laughs> 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 like, yeah, actually, Showgirls went through a lot of revisions. <laughs> <laughs> the original script, they cannibalized a lot for Robocop. <laughs> but yeah, his original screenplay yeah. that the studio didn't like. The policeman <laughs> has to turn into a stripper. He's got a good puss. They <laughs> give him a puss. Because he's a robot and a black man, the police department won't pay him. So he has to support his family that doesn't remember him because they think, you know, he's white. Yeah. <laughs> so when mm-hmm. a black man with a boombox head shows up at home, he, the f- family is scared. The term, right. The so he has to become a sexy thought, lady. So yeah. he becomes a stripper, and he <laughs> has Vegas. his penis replaced with breasts. Oh wait, but he has breasts where his penis would be. Yes. And, <laughs> wow. And he becomes the most popular stripper in Detroit. Oh, he's Detroit. <laughs> oh he's still in Detroit. Yeah. And then he moves to New York to become a beautiful actress. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love it. And then, he, so his head is still a black eye yeah, with a boombox. But then bugs, but it's yeah, like giant bugs. The bugs try to kill him, yeah. and he has to go to space. <laughs> and then you find out the bugs are the good guys, and the bugs are actually Jews from yeah. the Holocaust. But the, mm. the Jew bugs are actually the good guys. And yeah. then does he also go to Mars? Was that him too? Um, yeah. And then yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. Mars attacks, and uh, he has to. There's two Jack Nicholsons, and one is the president. And the, uh, what about Mar- Sharon Stone, his uh, wife? I was talking about Total Recall. I think Mars Attacks is Tim Burton. Yeah. <clears throat> Anyways, a character gets gang raped mm-hmm. by five guys, and then uh, and then afterwards, one of the characters is like, yeah, we thought you'd like it. No, that's what tr- turns him gay. That's he- homo cop. He gets gang raped <laughs> into homosexuality. Wow, like yeah. it's a gang. Yeah. It, like but, a woman in the bloods. Yeah, but then he just finds out from the gang rape that he's gay. And every and that's, uh, awesome. that's a nuanced understanding of homosexuality. Yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> I bet that in the RoboCop remake, <laughs> the RoboCop really... remake where they show him what he looks like without the suit or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's just a brain, and they've made his dick huge, and that's all that's left. And he's like, and nice. he's just like, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're like put the suit back on him <laughs> this fucking rocks this rules <laughs> <laughs> my dick is fucking awesome <laughs> oh hell yeah yes <laughs> fuck yeah <laughs> yeah that's good I like that a lot actually mm-hmm. oh you kept my original dick mm-hmm. you made my dick bigger Mm-hmm. Thank you so much. Yeah, they're like, uh, no, actually, we made your dick bigger. And he's like, delete the files. <laughs> <laughs> delete all records. Delete the records of my penis. I'm going to destroy the computer <laughs> room. Yeah. <laughs> Robocop's gone rogue. He's destroying all the records. He says <laughs> penis was <laughs> <He's> <laughs> be regular uh, size. <laughs> regular size. <laughs> and he's killed all the scientists. <laughs> all the scientists that knew what his penis looked like before are turning up dead. <laughs> And the movie becomes stopping uh, Robocop. It's called Robocop 2 Showgirls. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> oh hell yeah, dude! Just a thriller <laughs> where every all the scientists that know what this thing look like <laughs> keep dying. <laughs> oh, Anyone that's seen his penis, like his old high school coach, mm-hmm. <laughs> he kills his wife. He kills his wife. He, he kills, kills his doctors. <laughs> 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 He's like interrogating his fucking kid. It's like, did you ever see my penis in the shower? You're not allowed to see it. <laughs> his son's like, why are you talking like Batman? He's like, I'm also Batman. I'm also Batman now. I decided that when I moved to New York to be a beautiful actress, so I became Batman. <laughs> he pulls his dick out. He's like, look, what's up? Is this what it always was? Uh-huh. Yes, Dad. Rachel! <laughs> look at my dick! <laughs> well, you see, Robo Batman Cop Showgirls, <laughs> I know your penis used to be small. <laughs> no matter what you do, you can't fuck me. <laughs> oh, you'll never fuck my ass, Batman. The Joker had his asshole so shut. <laughs> You, there's nothing you can threaten me with. <laughs> Unsew your asshole. I'm to take it up. By the Open t- up your ass. Now you have a choice. <laughs> By the time it takes you to unstitch my asshole, Rachel will be dead. <laughs> you can either go fuck Rachel and save her, or fuck me in my ass. <laughs> Harvey! Go save Rachel, but you're not allowed to fuck her. Well, if I save her, I'm going to fuck her. No! <laughs> and by, and somehow yeah. this proves your dick was regular. It's him just fucking the Joker in the ass while Harvey Dent's eating Rachel's pussy. <laughs> Batman's on the phone. He can hear her coming. And he's like, no! <laughs> 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 I hope you enjoy my ass, Batman. <laughs> because now you're gay. <laughs> and Rachel's gay. <laughs> Rachel, and my broadcast, you fucking me in the ass on the news. <laughs> Gotham shocked to find out that beautiful actress Robo Batman is actually gay for, for the Joker. <laughs> In other news, <laughs> assistant DA Rachel got her pussy eaten last night in an abandoned factory by Harvey Dent. He did a really good job. <laughs> yeah. He ate her pussy Being very well. Being straight, he ate it very well. Yeah. Just, <laughs> just, 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 like cell phone video. Who <laughs> got fucking Joker in the ass when he laughed? Rachel! No! It's on speakerphone. <laughs> You're gay now. Yeah. <laughs> now you're gay. <laughs> <laughs> You've fallen into my trap. You've fallen into my trap, Batman. <laughs> now you're gay. Yeah. The whole point. Oh, man. I can't believe I've done this to you, Master Wayne. You've made you gay, Master Wayne. Bruce, Bruce Wayne's like, I stopped being Batman like six years ago. He's like, no, it's a, it was from this the Pro War Hoven movie. Yeah, this, <laughs> this is some guy from Detroit. <laughs> I'm in an alternate universe now where I'm in high school. <laughs> I'm a guy in high school that's goth, and I just solve crimes around the school and not Batman anymore. Uh-huh. I'm for teenagers. <laughs> oh, that's right, Master Wayne. That's right. Well, I guess I'll go kill that homo. Mm-hmm. Uh, Alfred's also homophobic. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. So when, I was in, him. when I was in Burma, there was a six-year-old boy that we were all taking turns with. <laughs> <laughs> Alfred, where's this story going? <laughs> I don't know, is it? We found the rubies in his ass. <laughs> what I'm saying is it might seem wrong to rape a child at first, but when you find out that they were actually the ruby thief <laughs> through the process of fucking them and around them in sort of a, you know, sort of a Machiavellian sort of way, is it really... Was it really wrong? Uh-huh. Yeah, it's still wrong. It's still fucked up. It's, it's weird. still kind You're of You're being a up. pedophile. You're a pedophile, You raped the kid, Alfred. Yeah, but I'm British. Oh, oh yeah, that's where you got me there. Good point. That's... I guess it's more of a sort of a systemic problem. <laughs> were you wearing a pith helmet while you were doing it? And there's a lot of yelling, so you know it's good. Yeah, is it, you guys sell socks. <laughs> yeah, I know it's no, Radio Shack. Radio. I'm asking. <laughs> I'm fucking asking. Oh, <laughs> uh, fuck. No, Rachel! No! <laughs> You're gay now. <laughs> <laughs> that being the turn. Rachel, are you coming? <laughs> Don't come! <laughs> you can enjoy it, but at least don't come. Don't come. Don't come, Rachel, please. 
Don't nut in his mouth. <laughs> Please don't bust. I'm coming, Batman. <laughs> There's cum leaking out of my penis. <laughs> No, no, I'm gay. You want to know what makes me come?